Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another unboxing. This is gonna be a pretty good one. I believe what's in here is the Sega History Collection. So it's just a variety of the Sega Tower Power little mini version, kind of like the toy version. So let's open it up and find out. I think it's called a Sega Collection History. His Sega History Collection. I think that's what it's called. But I'll I will link the the correct name in the description. So yeah, I did bought this from Amazon. You can buy it from eBay, other places it might be a little bit cheaper. It depends. So I decided to buy this because I saw them one of my local uh, Asian store was selling them but it was missing one of the collection so I decided I didn't want to buy it so I went online and bought the complete set instead and the total was $68.59 shipping was $5.60 and it was $56.87 US dollar of course and I kind of like it how it is in these little plastic case here. That looks kind of cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, very cool. Alright, as you can see, the first one here, it does give you a description. This looks like it's the Mega Drive and some cartridges and some controller. That's really cool. Be really nice to display this. Really small, so this is kind of like a, a very small toy version. So they did put tape here. So let's go ahead and take that off and take a look at the first product. Having a little trouble here. Ah, oh, there you go. So uh yeah ship shouldn't be too hard to take off oh there you go you just snap up to open pretty cool let's take a look at the little manual real quick I believe it's only in japanese so but that's not really important that's okay it's not really important it's probably just talk about oh okay it does have all the other Sega Genesis stuff on it. So, as you can see here, very small, but I can see the six button control here and the cartridge here. And you can see the console here. I believe this is the Model 1. So, let's open this up. There's like a very sticky tape. Oh yeah, oh shit, drop something. So, as you can see here, we have the Sega Genesis Model 2 here. It says right here. Very cool, very small. Uh, they're not really buttoned, but yeah, you can't turn on the switch. They won't move. Uh, but I would say the cartridge slot here does flinch. That's cool. Very nice replica. And this piece right here did came, it fell off. So it's supposed to go into this part right here, which is where the Sega CD go onto. I'm not going to put it on as of right now. But you can see here, the replicator very nice and exact. So, let's put that on the side for now. Check out all the other stuff here. As you can see here, we have some sticker here. I believe you put this on the cartridge or so. We got Sonic. I don't know what game that is. But I'm guessing it's cotton. Could be wrong. 
Okay, so we got two cartridges here. Very small, but very cool. Sorry, the focus, it can't get really focused correctly. That's cool. That's one, and that's two. So you put the sticker on it, I believe. The sticker right here. You can see. And we also have some controller, two controller. Let's take a look. Um, both of them, I believe, is just six button. Yeah. Very cool. I don't know if you guys can see that. That it won't focus too well. But yeah, that's very nice. The button, you can't really press them to it, it's just plastic. But that's very cool. Um, I will do everything later, like install it later, and maybe do a little quick overview at the end. So, let's jump on to the next one. Alright, uh, where's the sticker at? Okay. These sticker, uh, these tape, clear tape are pretty hard to take off. For some reason. So, let's open it up, see what we get next. Pretty cool, look like maybe it's a Sega CD. Let's take a look at the manual, it'll tell us. Um, not really, it's just the same thing. See the Mega Drive there. So all the manual in there are all the same. I just can't believe, this thing is expensive for the size of it is quite small by the very expensive but very cool if you're a big Sega fan this is a very cool toy as you can see I see a Sega 32X in here see a cartridge there see a CD there so let's open this up what we have here all right let's back these guys up as you can see, we have the Sega CD. In America, it's called the Sega CD. I think everywhere else of the world is called the Mega CD. As you can see right here, that's what it's called. And you put the console here. Very cool. And the disc tray does pop out. I really like that. Very nice. Very cool. It's a very cool toy to display on my Sega display area. Sorry about the focus guys. And we have here is the Sega 32X. Super 32X. I guess that's what it's called in Japan and the rest of the world. Very cool. Um, Let's, let's test this real quick, see if it fits in this Model 2 here. Yeah, and it does. That is very cool. Let's go ahead and test the, uh, what you call it, the, the Sega CD or Mega CD. And it fits just great. That looks very nice. And there's a nice little towel right here. Put a little cartridge on top. Uh, okay, so I might have to grab the cartridge from the 32X here to fit in there. So it does have the cartridge here. I don't know. It looks exactly the same. Oh. Yeah, looks exactly the same might be a little bit different let's get the mega drive one <laughs> take a good look the design's a little bit different so maybe that's why it doesn't fit but let's go ahead and try if you have less space this little collection is perfect oh there you go got it to work Okay, so next up, 
Uh, look like we have the sticker for the CD. Um, I do see the plastic CD right here. So let's go ahead and take that out and take a quick look. Put it down a little bit. So it's just a clear plastic. Put the sticker on top, I guess, to make it look like a CD. So um, let's see what else they have in here. I will put the sticker on later since it will take some time. As you can see, there are some sticker here you put on the Sega CD. I will show you guys the finished product right after we unbox and everything. Short overview after this. You can see, and I don't know what game that is. Maybe it's a Shiny Force. Yeah, Shiny Force on the Sega CD. Most popular game. Probably the best game on the Sega CD. So, alright. So far, I'm very happy. As you can see, um, you could put the CD in here. In the tray. Yep, and then close it. That's cool. I don't know if you guys see that. That's cool. Alright, let's start on the next one. Alright, let's see what we have in this one. So far, we got the Sega Genesis Model 2 and the first model Sega CD or Mega CD for the rest of the world. So. That was e easy to open for some reason. Okay. Oh, I was wondering why it's not coming off. Cool. Um, look like we got another manual here. Same one. Well, we're not gonna go through that. All right. All right. Look like we got some CD sticker here, and this is the version four. Look like. Could be another Sega CD version. But let's go ahead and open it up. Find out. So. Let me just put all the stuff down. We don't want to be dropping them everywhere. So first off, let's just take a quick look at this little sticker and CD. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's in Japanese, so I can't tell what kind of game that is. But there are some sticker in the back over here as well. We'll put that on later. As of right now, it looks like we have look like an attachment for Sega CD. Yes, yes. So let's see if we can put. I believe this is the Model 2 for Sega CD. So, let's see if we can put this together. Okay, so you see this two little right here. You just put it, snap it together, I believe. I uh, could be wrong. I don't know, it didn't snap on. Earlier it snapped on just fine. I might have missed something. So, there's this part right here. I don't know what this is for. But it looks like it might be for this part right here. Oh, okay. So, it's snap on on this side. I guess that's for if you get the Model 1 Sega Genesis. So, this, is, this square looks like it's only enough to fit. Model 2, which is I have here. Yeah. So, the extra attachment is for Model 1. But, I'm kind of concerned how to put this Sega CD on. I hear a snap. Okay. So, okay. So, you have to kind of come from the top and snap in. So, let's see. Can't. For some reason, okay. There you go. So, uh, you want to come from the top like that and snap down. Yeah, not down, but forward. So it's kind of like that, forward. So it looks good now. I uh, wonder if this thing opens. Don't seem to open for some reason. 
don't know. I have to probably look into that. But it should open so you can put the CD in there. But just take a look at this. It looks very nice replica. Mega CD. The rest of the world is probably called Mega CD. But I think in America it's called Sega CD. Very nice. It's made in Vietnam. Cool. This is really cool. I really like Sega a lot. Sega is definitely ahead of the time back in the day. Alright, and we, they did give us a cartridge. I guess because this is a cartridge for a game that um, if you have the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis and the Sega CD or Mega CD, then you can play a certain game. Also, um, look like they gave us an attachment here. Or uh, maybe it's like a... Yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. <coughs> it might be the attachment for the 32X, if I'm correct. Yeah. Let's see if we can attach 32X here. I mean, I, I don't think so, but... I guess it's kind of like just for like Sonic and Knuckle kind of thing. You know? Or maybe Game Genie. So, you know that the cartridge go on top like that. It might be like a, the Sonic Knuckle version. You can see. A little hard to see, but yeah, it's it's very nice. Um, I don't have the Model 1 yet, but when we get the Model 1, we'll put this on. And also put on the Sega CD here. So... I'm just kind of surprised this thing doesn't pop open. There might be another way how to do it. I've been pressing this button, but it doesn't open. So... Oh, okay, so you just manually open yourself. So I dig my finger in here and just kind of... grab it like that. So, cool. Just got it to open. It does have a... CD slot here to put the CD in. That's nice. All right, so uh, we'll put the sticker on and we'll little, do a little overview after this last unboxing here. You guys, let me know if it's worth it. You know, you big Sega fan out there, let me know what you guys think. I think it's cool. Definitely, will keep this on my shelf. I did bought from Amazon, so if I didn't like it, probably return it, but. At this point, I'm actually quite happy with the product I'm getting so far. Although, I wish it could have been better, maybe? But so far, very happy with it. Alright, so, um, I think it's this way. Snap up, yeah. So you snap up to open, like that. And it looks like we have another manual. Uh, just like all the other one. Cool. Uh, Looks like this is the Mega Drive or Sega Genesis Model 1. It does say 1 here. But maybe that's just the product number. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Model 1. Look at the shape in the original Sega Genesis controller here. That is cool. Alright. So. Uh, got some controller. Oh. Dropping stuff already. All right, let's take a look at the sticker right here. Look like we got some Sonic and Golden Axe. Yeah, very cool. I actually love those games very much. Nothing in the back. So after this little unboxing, I will put all the sticker on and do a little overview. Take a look at the replica of the Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive. Very nice. It does say here, terminal, hard to read, high something multi purpose use. Okay, there's a light right here. It's an on and off switch, but I don't think you can turn it on. Same thing for the volume, you can't really turn it up. 
Okay, so, and there is a reset button right here. Very cool. And it does have a CD attachment here. I'm not going to take it all the way off. Don't want it to drop. It's made in Vietnam as well. It's very nice replica right here. Very happy. Uh, yeah, the port's right here. Very cool. You can put the controller in there. And let's see the rear I.O. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it does have all the right stuff. Very nice replica. Very nice. Let's go ahead and grab one of the um, cartridges. See if we can put it in. Yeah, that's very cool. Also, uh, let's take a look at the controller. There are two controllers, but I'm just going to show you guys one here. This look like it's a very exact replica. Um, very nice. Has a start button. Very, very solid. Very nice. Maybe I say guys logo right here. Very cool. Can't get the power or tower or power, but can get this little toy. This brings some kind of satisfaction. So very cool. All right, guys. Uh, I'll put all the sticker on, and we'll do a quick overview. You guys, let me know what you guys think. This is going to be really awesome. Alright guys, here's the finished product. Here's what it looked like. As you can see, it's rotating. Show you guys a quick glimpse. What it looked like. Let's move up close. As you can see, I uh, put the controller port on. And I did put the sticker on. I know it's upside down from the camera. but And you can see, put the controller on. It does look very, very nice. And uh, we also have a couple game here. Um, let me just go ahead. That's Golden X, and here's is Sonic. I don't know if it can. Takes a little time, but yeah, uh, here's Sonic the Hedgehog. Come on, focus. Yeah, and then there's Golden X right there. Let's see if we can get this. Show you guys. The sticker. Come on, focus. Yeah, that's going X. Looks wonderful. And in the back, it does have a little sticker. I did put it on. So that's very cool. And let's go ahead and put it on the console. Looks wonderful. All right. Next up, we got the Sega CD version 2, model 2. And as you can see, looks very cool. So, let's take a good look, close up. I did put the sticker on the plastic CD, looks very nice, wonderful. Let's close this up. Oh. This attachment seems to break pretty easily, so you want to be careful. So yeah, um, this is the final product. It does have some st one sticker you put in the back here. You, you can see Sega Mega CD2, which is the version 2, Model 2 Sega CD. So, let's go ahead and just go ahead and try and put the Mega Drive. Model 1 on it, it'll also fit because I had the attachment in the bottom, make it look cool. Yeah, as you can see, looks wonderful, beautiful. Can't tell you how happy I am, and as a fan of Sega, I'm very happy to have this toy as part of my collection game room. Very happy. All right, let's jump on to the next one. Next one, I am gonna be featuring the Sega Mega Drive version 2, um, which it has the 6 button, you can see here. Let's bring it up close. 
which I already have shown you guys, but it's just really cool to look at it again. And then we got Sonic, the Hedgehog, the cartridge I put it on the Mega Drive, it does fit. And it looks very nice. So, also, um, also came with this one, which I, I still don't know what this game is, but if anyone know down in the comment, uh, anyone know just comment down below. And then, it also have the CD attachment as well. So let's go ahead and take that off. And let's put it on the Mega CD version 2, what we have here. Let's see if it fit, just to make sure. Yeah, it fits just fine. Let's take the attachment here off. So it'll, oh, it seems to have a little problem. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, would you look at that? Beautiful. Okay, so. Next up, I want to feature this little Sonic and Knuckle attachment here. Very cool. You can see I did put all the sticker in the back. So, that is very cool. So, let's go ahead and put on the on Mega Drive 1. Oh yeah, well, look, you look at that. That looks beautiful. That is beautiful. That is nice. And then, um, we will be taking a look at the 32X, which is I have right here. 32X. I did put this sticker on it. Um, on the cartridge and this is space space harrier I think I don't know focus it's kind of hard to see but space harrier on a 32x very cool let's go ahead and take this dispatchment off and put the 32x on see what it looks like that looks nice that looks really cool the mushroom kingdom <laughs> all right so next up Let's take a look at the final product I have here, which is the Sega CD Model 1 or Mega CD Model 1. As you can see, I think that's shiny voice right here. Very cool. Don't want that to fall out. And I did, oh, there you go. I did put the sticker in the back, as you can see here. Not perfect, but does look really nice now so uh, let's put this little CD back in there and let's put the Mega Drive attached to it see what it looks like oh. there you go guys looks beautiful Sega Mega Drive plus Sega CD and 32X with the game on top. Looks beautiful. Would you look at that? That is beautiful. You guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment below. This is like $58, so it's quite pricey, but for all the stuff, how much detail you get, definitely worth it. Thanks for watching.